It's hard out here, man. Whew! It's hot! So I decided I'm gonna do a video series on how to write a short film. This is part one of that series. Today we're talking about the principles of drama. Mm. Yo, Darius Pritt here. So, uh, lately I've gotten a lot of requests uh, to do a video on how to write a short film, and... Whew, that's not something you can squeeze all into one video. That takes a number of videos, hence is why I decided I'm gonna do a video series on it. So to everybody who was asking for it, you're welcome. Disclaimer, I am not a story guru by any stretch of the means, but, you know, I'll share what I know, and if two people in Texas find it useful, hey, success. All right, let's get to it. We're talking about drama. Why is drama the thing that we all avoid in our own lives so important when you're making a movie? Well, it's the cornerstone of audience engagement, and it's pretty much the fabric of storytelling. So if you want 500 people in a dark theater to be sitting at the edge of the seats while they're watching your movie, then you should probably understand how to make this drama stuff. Oh, yeah. So in order to create some good drama, you need three things. You need a character. I'm a character. Two, you need a goal. That character needs to be trying to do something with his life, other than just standing there breathing. I'm just trying to do me. Can I do me? And you need conflict. People just gotta be beefing about something. I don't like you. With the conflict, it doesn't always have to be a person. It could be a time, it could be a situation, it could be nature, it could be, you know, it could be a, any number of things. That's pretty much it. Sounds pretty simple, right? No, it's not. It is really, it's really that simple. If you're missing any one of these three elements, then it's not gonna work. You can't create tension, you can't create suspense, and you can't create catharsis. Think about it. If you don't have a character that your audience can identify with and or root for, then they're gonna wonder who they're supposed to be following. And if they don't figure it out, eventually they're gonna lose interest. If that character isn't clearly trying to do something, then your audience is gonna wonder why nothing's happening. And then they'll eventually get bored. If there is no conflict making us question or doubt whether that character will be successful at what they're trying to do, then the audience will think that it's too easy and eventually get bored. On the most basic of levels, every story is about somebody trying to do something and then overcoming conflict or adversity in order to do that thing that they are trying to do. I'm just trying to get that dirt off right there. For an example, we're gonna check out a short film called Dennis. If you haven't seen it yet, you should check it out. Boom! right there before we go any further because uh, it's good. I'm just pretty much going to spoil it but we're going to use it as an example. We open up with a big bodybuilder dude eyeing a phone number written on a piece of paper. The bodybuilder dude is of course Dennis. Dennis dials Patricia's number. The chick answers the phone, presumably Patricia. The short of it, Dennis asks Patricia out to dinner and she agrees to go. So obviously my man Dennis doesn't do this type of thing every day. Kind of tells us about his character. So we got two things already. We got Dennis the bodybuilder as a character, and we got a goal. Dennis's goal is not to go out on a date, it's to find a relationship. Because if you've been on this dust ball for longer than 10 years, everybody knows that when you date, you're usually looking for a girlfriend. So Dennis the bodybuilder is trying to get a girlfriend. Next, we're introduced to Dennis's mom, whom he lives with. Dennis tells her he's going out to the movies with a dude named Peter. Now, of course, we know that he's lying. He's not going out with a dude named Peter. He's actually going on a date. But why would Dennis lie to his mom? Hmm, let's see. Probably because she starts guilt tripping the shit out of him. Dennis's mom is controlling and manipulative as hell. So we got conflict. Dennis is trying to go on the date, but his mom is standing in the way. The gap between Dennis and his goal. Dennis has dinner with his mom. Small talk ensues. She eventually tells him he needs to be around the house more often. And then this happens. My man Dennis pretty much says, screw this, I'm going out on my date anyway, you need to get you a man. Deuces. The gap between Dennis and his goal. Dennis finally makes it to his dinner date. He eats dinner with Patricia at a pizza joint. It's awkward, Patricia doesn't seem to be having a very great time. She's down in beers left and right like a dude and staring at his muscles more than his face. Conflict. The gap between Dennis and his goal. It's not looking very good. After the dinner they say their goodbyes, but then wait. Patricia asks him if he'd like to come with her to a party that her and her friends are having. <laughs> hey, maybe she does like him. The gap between him and his goal? 
Things are looking good. At the party, Dennis drinks alcohol, something which he said he wouldn't do for various reasons. One being that it would sacrifice all of his work in the gym, and two being that, well, his dad was an alcoholic. Hmm, looks like he's taking one for the team on that one, but hey, my man's trying to get a girlfriend. The girls talk him into taking his shirt off, and a pose down ensues. The girls marvel at his muscles, which might not be such a good thing, but then when more dudes show up, Dennis gets all embarrassed and then bolts out of there. That's kind of embarrassing, man. You're looking like, I mean, you got your muscles all out. You look kind of like a beefcake. I would have, I would have did the same thing. Then when Patricia has the audacity to ask him why he's leaving, he says, Both to us, Why do you think you made him feel like a freak? You're a horrible person. There's a circle in hell just for people like you and it's hot and there's no ice water. The gap between Dennis and his goal to get a girlfriend, it's not looking very good. That's conflict. Dennis arrives back at home, faces his mother's wrath because he, you know, he pretty much pissed her off when he left without her blessing. And then he apologizes. After a few venomous words from moms, she retires to bed. And then he goes to his room, looks at something on his bed. I don't know what it is. And then he joins her and they sleep together. I know it sounds a little weird, but if you actually watch the short, it's not really weird. It's actually kind of really endearing. It's really just an endearing moment between mother and son, and son happens to be a 35-year-old bodybuilder. So even though my man Dennis didn't really get a girlfriend, the story still illustrates the basic principles of drama. You need to have a character who has a goal, and he must face adversity and conflict in order to achieve that goal. That's it. We all try to avoid drama in our lives, we don't like it, but when we're making a movie, uh, we just want to stuff as much of that good stuff into it as humanly possible, because that's what people like to see. And when you're writing your stories, it's up to you whether your character is going to succeed or fail horribly. Well, that's all I got for you. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like or subscribe, and uh, hit me up on the social networks. Uh, Debert out.